it's an election year. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> it's like everything's changing. Uh, yeah, basically. Um, What's the big news? Oh, the Olympics. Oh, oh the Olympics. Actually, no. They, it, it's it's all about Obama and how crooked the Republicans are, and only he can save our nation from the crooked are you Republicans. Serious? Yeah. Oh, oh, look for Mitt Romney. No. Uh, we look, for, look for Mitt Romney? Look for Mitt, Ma, Mitt Romney to be arrested sometime in the month of um, October for crimes that he has committed. Hello, this is not a spring chicken. You know, it's an election year, which you can't help but escape. Oh, what was the thing that was? It's like, wait a minute. It's, what should we say? It's all over for the Republicans. Well, all I remember is it's always the Republicans' fault, okay? And you can guess what side that comes from. But here's one of the things that you can expect. And this is Chicago style politics. Is expect for Mitt Romney to be arrested sometime, what, probably September or October? And before middle the of election. October towards the last. Oh, mid middle to the end of October? Yeah. Um, so look forward to that. You're going, what? Chicago style politics. Look at the history as to what's been happening. It's not that, oh, wait a minute. It's not that you did anything. It's the, what? It's the, um, it's accusation. The accusation. It's the accusation, right? It's all in that. It kills you in politics, or affects you in politics. Do we see that? Anyway, we're going to bring Nola Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. <laughs> I always love, I always love hearing that we have things that we didn't know we had. <laughs> you have to just create a fan site for you know, for our comic division, we'd have you very happy. Yeah, well, we'll put it all under there. Okay, and it's all over for the Republicans. Oh, yeah, because uh, uh, the President of the United States has basically found people that say that Mitt Romney's a murderer and basically... Oh, did they? Oh, yeah. That they, even though Mitt Romney hadn't worked with a company for seven years, he was responsible for the death of someone. Oh, that's who, probably what he's going to get arrested for. Oh, no, he's going to get arrested for a lot of things, you know, like income tax. Oh, don't probably think of income tax evasion or income something. Income tax evasion, something basically spinning on the sidewalk. You never know. But uh, uh, like I said, the Democrats are playing Chicago-style politics, and the Republicans, they're good folks. A anybody that knows where the Republican Party was founded, <coughs> raise their tail. What, what was it, Chicago? Chicago, Illinois, folks. Oh, wait party. a minute. What, they forgot they're from Chicago. Anybody know, are here? Lincoln, the land of Lincoln, the founder of the Republican Party, as we know it, is, is from Illinois. And the Republicans basically no longer know how to... Uh, okay, they created Rolling in the Mud, and these people... I mean, Mitt Romney is the most god-awful politician I've ever seen. No wonder he lost the governorship after kissing the butt of all the Democrats in Massachusetts. And latest politician to post shirtless photos. Oh, yeah, basically, at the, the, it's all Democrats again, folks. Here's one, though. The, you want to go, uh, the only Republican who would have done anything like that happened to be doing the... He did a fundraiser to get money for some people with muscular dystrophy. The guy can dance the Latin jive like you do not believe. He's wearing the outfit with his down to his belly button and doing the dancing. And he, and, uh, and he, I like his expression. I saw this, his wife. She's got this. Like, where the hell did that come from? Didn't know her husband had been a Latin jive champion when he was younger. And drought diminishes mighty Mississippi and puts heat on Congress. No, nope, because I just heard today from almost all of the people supplying food you know, agricultural people, this is not going to, the drought is going to have no effect whatsoever on the cost of food or processing or anything. And it hasn't had any effect on the cost of food, right? No, in this fact, everything we bought today costs more money. Mm -hmm. But there, but see, the market just rallied on the fact that the people that are doing, the grocery stores have said prices are not going up. Farmers, the dairy farmers' prices are not going up. Everybody that depends upon Obama and government money well, it's not going to have any effect, even though you're paying more every day for what you did. And climate change, Denny Ayers in the House of Representatives targeted for defeat. I don't have a chance in this universe of losing. No one is buying the climate. Okay, even Al Gore said that we may have overused the term climate change because nobody believes in climate change anymore. Okay. Well, because if you do, okay. But BS will tell you, if go look at the History Channel, the Discovery Channel, public broadcasting, and guess what they're going to tell you? 
what? It's called the natural natural cycle in a, in the history of the world. It gets hot, it gets cold. We we had a crappy ice age not more than a couple of hundred years ago. We came out the mini ice age that killed all of the grapevines and stuff in Europe. Hmm. That was an ice age. Oh, it was. And buying home beats renting after just three years in much of the U.S. Not anywhere that I know of. You, first of all, you can't buy homes. The reason why rentals are going higher is because they know you can't buy a home. If you could buy a home, okay, the, if you could afford to buy a home, the people that are losing their home to foreclosure would be able to make a deal to stay in their homes. Mm -hmm. That's why they're having to move out because it's cheaper to move into a rental than it is to own a home. And Obama, America needs soul searching on gun violence. Well, basically, he, he the, okay, uh, uh, this, this thing the other day, you know, a Chinese man killed seven people with a, with a steak knife. With uh -huh. a steak knife, seven people. And you can imagine what the Democrats immediately did. We are going to have to look into taking control of dangerous weapons like that away from people. Just steak knife, right? You go, they're going to bust into your house now, take your steak knives out of your drawers because they're deadly weapons. Mm. And first GOP convention speakers announced. Oh, yeah. Everybody but Sarah Palin is going to be on the list. And you know. Oh, really? That, I mean, Ron Paul is going to be there. Santorum. Everybody that basically is anybody. And you know. Well, we have an exciting special guest as well. Would you know who the exciting special Ooh. guest is? It's got to be Palin. Oh. Now, to, speaking of, where is the Tea Party? The Tea Party basically is is sweeping one candidate in after another as the primaries finish up towards fall. Oh, are they? Yeah, the problem is they say, well, these candidates... But they're going in as um, independents, right? No, they're going, they in, going as... no, they're going in as Republican primaries. They're still oh. going in. Their last of primaries is next Tuesday. But the trick is, the Republican Party, these people are not conservative enough. Then no, their Tea Party doesn't give a rat's ass about well, their about Christian that. values and that stuff. They want you to stop spending. spending money. And every person that is winning the primaries now has to do with the fact that not a single candidate that, they, that the party wants is willing to stop spending money. An Ohio man shoots wife of 45 years in hospital ICU. Oh, yeah, I mean, that white woman, I mean, you gotta be a real moron. You don't walk into a place and shoot somebody. You just walk in and do nothing more than turn the switch off. And she yeah, they're in the ICU. Hospital. I mean, they're. I'm not going to. What, I mean, what type of idiot shoots somebody in a hospital? You deserve to get whatever they're going to give you, even though they said it was a mercy killing. I don't think it's a mercy killing to go shoot somebody in the head. Because they don't die. Like, only in the movies do you go, oh. Well, that, they don't know that. That's because they watch too many movies. <laughs> so you also, I can guarantee you that in a movie, when the guy shoots you with a gun, it doesn't blow you 20 foot backwards. Because most of the time, you sit there with the, oh. Because you don't oh. know you're dead. It also, oh, you don't know you're dead? No. Oh. You don't know you're dead. And that's it, you know. There's, it, nothing stops instantaneous like in a movie. You do not oh, know you're dead. Oh, that's why the, the chickens run around with your chicken. Because uh, they don't know, like they don't know they've had the head cut off. Well, the other part is if you're in a hospital, doesn't it make a lot of noise and everybody comes well, to Well, he look? didn't think of that. She was in so much pain. So what you want to do that person is in pain is to shoot them and cause them more pain before they die. <laughs> you can poison them. Let them go to sleep. Yeah. That's <laughs> they go to sleep peacefully. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I've actually put, I've had to put animals to death with a gun, and it's not a pleasant sight because they do not die instantly. But if you're, like, uh, basically you're a zillion miles from nowhere and a horse breaks a leg, the best thing you can do with the horse that's there and looks at you as the horse is kicking after you shot oh, it in the head. Oh, yeah. that's got to be so sad to that's watch. That's right. But if you're you know, tens of miles away from where anything can get done, you can't leave the horse. You can't leave them just sitting there. Yeah. An official Sikh temple suspect member of white supremacists that was known to listen to Republican preferred music. Yeah, he, What's Republican preferred music? Oh, those, that music that those people that basically cling to their Bibles and their rifles listen to. And it is called country music. Oh, Remember, that Democrats was... don't believe in that type of stuff because it's all praising them. Remember, they basically, do, you know, we can't have Lee Greenwood singing that type of music at our events. They don't want anything 
I mean, basically, we're talking, um, you know, uh, God bless America, you know, you know, Bern, Bernstein would basically, Bern, every Berlin would be considered a, a deviant to the Democratic Party because of his love of the country. Mm. Report, Boy Scout files reveal repeat child abuse. That's why they don't like gay people in the Boy Scouts. Oh. They have a long record of when you put gay people in positions in Boy Scouts. Guess what always happens because, you know, uh, okay, I don't see you putting gay women in the Girl Scouts. Uh, do they? Oh, <laughs> GOP chairman calls Harry Reid a dirty liar. He ends when the Democrats, okay, the Democrats are building the premise that, Rick, that Mitt Romney is a criminal and he will, sometime between the middle of October to the last of October, he will be given, they will send out an arrest warrant for him. He'll have to make bail and then they'll drop all the charges against him for lack of evidence. But that Not is until after politics. he's gone through everything. They want to taint the, uh, taint the candidate to the people that haven't made up their mind. And Nassau counting down to nail biting Mars plunge. Oh, I know. I, I saw that. I, I mean, I want to know how they got a photograph of the thing landing. It's impossible. In order to get a photograph of it landing, something has to be there to get a photograph. So, shall we say it looks like it. Anybody seen the thing with Gary Sinise about the big, big mountain on Mars? They found a mountain. Ooh. Yeah. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, okay that it's often easier to lie than it is to tell the truth, but unfortunately the lies get you in more trouble than telling the truth does.